Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below. This is also included in the DLC, which I left out of the last video. I wanted to try it out first before I included it. Just wanted to show it off a little bit. So let's, let's let me show you real quick. So first, let's go into creative mode. And I'll go into first person. All right, let me fix this real fast. There we go. All right, so I went through and I made a nice little track here, as you can see. And what's cool is you can pretty much make it anywhere. And based on how you angle the, the camera, it'll change the track to go this way, this way, curve up or curve down. So you can really like basically build a train track pretty much anywhere. So far on the PlayStation, it will not let me add a cart to it at all or a you know, caboose, if you will. Uh, every time you go to use it on, on the, uh, what is it, this thing, it just won't do it. So this thing is broken on console, unfortunately. Yeah. So anyway, I'll just show you what I did to make sure it had support. I literally just put in the support memes, and that seemed to work. It looks like it makes you hook it on the ends of whatever section you're building off of. The fact that it let me to uh, allowed me to do that was really cool. So, I don't know if you guys ever played Pixark, but you could use train tracks in that. And since everything is square in that in that game, it made it a lot easier. And here is the cool train. Hopefully, they add like train skins. Like if they do like a Back to the Future DLC, you could get the Back to the Future train. That'd be awesome. Or heck, even put uh, the DeLorean in here. I don't know what would have to happen for the that to happen but that'd be cool that'd be really cool anyway so without further ado and unfortunately when i built my train tracks this stupid rock is in the way i could fix it i just haven't done it yet so anyway i just want to show you what the train how it look, works and what's cool is once you press forward enough you don't have to hold the button down it just goes by itself and the train track works perfectly fine except for that spot where the rock's at i was like mm. so yeah i just spent time building this yesterday yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I hope they do more stuff like this. And it gets me excited for what's in the future. And um, since this is DLC, I'm almost certain it's not locked to Scorched Earth, but don't quote me on that. Uh, you could probably go to the island and, or any map and build a big train station around the whole thing. I just think this is really, really cool. <laughs> I really hope that, like I said, they do like crossover DLCs, so... Back to the Future, uh, with the flying train, oh, that'd be cool, like a, I doubt it'll fly, but that train in, in Back to the Future looked really, really cool. <laughs> yeah, and you can even, uh, since I'm getting close to the, I'll just show you the rock where you get stuck. <laughs> and it takes coal, or charcoal, I mean, it takes charcoal to run it, and right here, boom, stupid rocks in the way. What's cool is you can go in reverse, too. And the same thing, you don't have to hold the button down. See, I'll show you what it needs, and it's super easy. Oh crap, you can go with it, not even having to drive it? Well, that's cool. Okay, hold on a second, I'm going to test this out. So you can set it to go, and then just... That's awesome. So let's say you have another base down the way, and you're trying to send supplies to them. You can just send it and go do whatever, you don't have to actually ride the whole thing. That's cool. I like that feature. Of course, it's nighttime, so now you can't see anything. But anyway, the fuel is this stuff. Charcoal. One of the easiest things to get. Every time you're cooking something in, like, a little fire thing, you get charcoal. Super, super easy resource to get in the game to power this thing. And I drove back and forth on this thing, like, 20 times, and it only took up, like, three. So you put 100 in there, you're good. And for an added bonus for this video, well, let's keep going. I'm going to show you how to summon the stuff in if you just want it right away. Here's the code right here. It's GFI charcoal or GFI space charcoal space 100 because that's how much you could stack space zero space zero if you don't want to have to go get it normally. And you could load the thing up and you'll probably never need charcoal ever again <laughs> for, for the thing. So that's how you get charcoal easy way this is the cool train thank you for watching sound off the comments below and stay frosty
Chugga 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 chugga. 